Hi guys, this is Amr from Certified Power. Today I'll be showing you how to troubleshoot a spread smart using the Amber LED diagnostic lights. Make sure your truck engine is operating at 1200 to 1400 RPMs. We want to make sure we have enough hydraulic flow to run our functions. Maintain a safe distance from the truck's mechanical components. Be mindful that spreader implements may be moving. Turn on your SpreadSmart controller using this power switch. First, we want to be on our menu. It should start up on the menu page, but you can always use the menu switch to get there. Use the spinner switch to scroll all the way to test mode. Then use the pause control to access it. You will then be asked for a password. Use the spinner controls to change the digits and use the blast slash pause controls to change the cursor position. On my device, this switch is labeled pause. On some of your devices, it may be labeled as pass. For this application, they mean the same thing. At factory default, the password will be 9000. Refer to your supervisor if your password has been changed. I will use the spinner control to change the first digit to 9, then use the pause control to run the cursor past the end of the password to access the configuration menu. What test mode will do is it will allow you to run spreader functions without any ground speed signal. Your truck will be at a full stop but you can actuate all of the spreader valves. Now first, with a system using sensor signals, you will see a pulse per minute or PPM count right underneath the percent output on the screen. Use the function's designated control switch to increase its output. You can then verify that the sensor PPM is present and increasing proportionately with the output. We recommend setting your output at about 10% and writing down the PPM value. Increase your output to 20% and you should expect your pulses per minute count to approximately double. Increase your output to 40% and you should see about double the pulses per minute as you did at 20%. In doing so, we can confirm that the signal to actuate the spreader function is doing its job, and the signal from the sensor is also operating correctly. Use the pause control to reset your channel outputs to 0%. Another way to make sure of this is to take a look at the junction box. You will observe two types of junction boxes on a closed loop spreader system. One of these junction boxes, referred to as part number TS2018, is responsible for actuating the hydraulic function. You can find it inside the valve tank enclosure. Actuating a function using the toggle keypad, such as the auger for example, will cause the amber LED adjacent with the auger channel on the junction box to light up. This confirms the existence of a positive electrical connection between the SpreadSmart controller and the hydraulic valve. Use the pause control to reset all your channel outputs to 0%. The other type of junction box, referred to by part number TS1000, TS8000, or TS8001 is responsible for returning a sensor signal to your screen. The location of the TS1000, TS8000 or TS8001 depends on the customer and the vehicle it is installed on. Once you locate the sensor junction box, verify that the green power LED is on. This confirms that the information we get from this junction box is accurate since it is receiving power. Actuating a hydraulic spreader function using the toggle keypad, such as the auger for example, should activate the corresponding amber LED. This confirms that the function is implemented and is sending a signal back to the SpreadSmart screen. 
This is the same signal that will cause the pulses per minute value to change on your test mode screen. Again, use the pause control to reset your channel outputs to 0%. This is how you use LED lights to troubleshoot a spread smart control system. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to give us a call on the number provided on the screen or visit our website at www.certifiedpowersolutions.com.